Hello, every nation family. I hope you are having an amazing day. It is day five of our fasting, and I trust that God has spoke to you、uh, in a very personal way. You know, throughout this fast, one of my cry is God increase my hunger for Your Word, and allow me to share with you the verse for today's devotion. It's taken from First Peter chapter one, verse twenty four to twenty five. It says that all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers, the flowers falls, but the word of the Lord remains forever. Now Peter was quoting Isaiah forty,、uh, the verse that Pastor Mark shared two days ago, and again he's using that verse to bring forth that contrast, a contrast of what is temporal. And the contrast of what is eternal, what is temporal,、uh, you ask. You know, it's very clear in this verse that all flesh is like grass. Our life, human life, is temporal. It's achingly painful to think that our life on this earth is temporal. If you have lost someone, have grief over the loss of somebody close to you, you understand that pain. And what is temporal? All other achievement that we accomplish in our lifetime is temporal. You know, nobody is going to care about、uh, my PSLE result, my O level result, and all the accomplishment I have. One of my favorite soccer team, Chelsea, won Champions League last year. Five years, ten years down the road, probably no one will probably even remember that glory. Think about the achievement that man. Accumulate the breakthrough in science and technology, in sports, the great things that human can accomplish. The glory of it one day will fade away. But what is eternal? Jesus says that heaven and earth will fade away, but my word will never fade away. My word will endure forever. It is God's word that is eternal. What is His word? His promises is eternal. His peace is eternal. His love endures forever. It is forever. It is eternal. You know, after this life, God's love is still available to us, and let us、uh, hold on to things that is eternal and not tem- and not temporal. Colossians chapter three verse two,、uh, Paul exhorts us to set our mind on things that is above and not on things that is below. So the question, as we reflect today, where is your mind today? Is it on things that is eternal, or is it on things that is temporal? May God change us and shift our eyes and give us a lens from His perspective to what is of great value and what is of eternal value. God bless you. Have a great day ahead.